Hello, how's it going people YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode. We are currently in the Hilton Head Invitational at Harbour Town Golf Links, South Carolina. We are, we are, we are, we are, we are, we are the halfway leader, which is interesting. Um, let's go into the entry slot. So, Wow. We're actually 13 under par. The winds, the wind speed's picked up. We're 13 under par. That is put us at... What did we finish? I'm trying to think what we finished. I think we're, we're definitely a couple under par here. Current hole was the 10th. Uh, and it is round 3. So, and we're, we are on... We did have bag 2 selected. I may actually just keep go, uh, golf bag too. Ones are usually uh, is a usual go to bag. That's got the two wood in it, and the wedge set is I think sixty, a fifty five and a fifty degree. This one here's got the sixty four degree. I'm actually going to stick my bag too. I think it seems to be actually working out well on this course. It seems to be working out well. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour are proud to bring you this look at the future stars in the sport of golf. From Hilton Head Island Ooh, and Harbour nice. Town Golf Links, it's third round coverage of the Hilton so Head Invitational. The well, if there was to any point. indication, we should be in for a memorable weekend of golf here as we take in the leaderboard on this Saturday. Our leader here on Saturday is our featured golfer. I think the last hole we played yesterday, I think. To begin play. So let's get you out to the action on the turn as we head to the tee at the par 4 10th. Okay, wind's getting a little bit interesting here. It's, uh, let me bring that back over a little bit. Got plenty of fair way to, to utilise. Should be a fair way to find it. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. To where the hole is cut, just about Man, 190 yards, quit. Frank. Yeah, what's what's their finesse? I think that's club. I think maybe just take a, a hair off it. And you get this wind judged. Uh, the tempo's a little bit fast. It's not coming over as much. Maybe because it's a fast. That's got we do to find be the bunker. Good line in the fairway, and the approach winds up in the bunker. So the pick shot is is. It's probably the, the preferred shot here. I'm just aiming straight at the pin. Mm, that is a good looking pass out shot. of the bunker right there. Got that to stop in a good place, leaving just a few feet for par. Safely in. Yep, it's a par get a here at the ten. <clears throat> Not a bad start. Remain, a one shot advantage. <coughs> Excuse me. The eleventh hole now at four hundred and thirty-six so yards. One, shot lead. one thing you'll notice about this fairway: the further up you get, yeah, this is the, the one I remember. It becomes so. Some would say three wood. Not the worst of ideas here. Yeah, I'm going with driver, mate. Going driver. And Not a lot of roll in the, in the fairways. It's uh, pretty much hitting and running just a couple of yards. Second shot coming up, and we say hello to Iona. Say Steven. hello to my little friend. 124 yards to get you to the front of the green. One, three, four, the number all the way to the flag. Pin tucked in the front left hand portion of the green today. Is this going to spin a little? 
Hard to judge this wind. I feel it's, it should cut over quite a bit, but. Ah, we're losing it to the left. No, oh, that wasn't a good in shot. Shoes now. For a second straight hold, he's in the bunker. Looking to splash this softly onto the green. That's actually a good line the bunker. It's pretty level. That's great technique. Kept the weight on the forward leg. Well, you don't sort of move off the ball. And not much left for par. Nah, no, that's... <clears throat> Quite a tricky little pot. Downhill. Let's just get that little bit of break in it. It's, uh, easy. Okay, well done. All that fuss. Pretty bar, easy. Right, two pars. Steady start. Still maintain that that one shot lead. Well, bit of a gap between the right place, to left so. so far. This one's going to work the other way. As we've mentioned before, accuracy is the key off the tee. As some of those pine trees can reach out and grab you if your tee shot's not where it me. needs to be. Get fast, swing. I need to. I need to watch that. Turning out to be a wonderful Saturday of golf here, and this another fine tee shot. Front right hole location as he prepares his second to the par four. Okay, wind's right in our face here. Um, Uh, I might go with that, like a, a, a kind of, what, is it a knockdown shot? It's not really a knockdown shot, but it's a, like a three-quarter swingy type, I say it. This one has a chance to be close. Pretty decent. Good shot. That's a Again, good shot. Again, still 2.8 percent fast. Green and regulation, Tempo, so. so dirty chance. This is an 11 foot putt. Uphill, which is actually quite nice. You can be a little bit more kind of aggressive. Uh, let's go. Come on. Oh! Bum's <laughs> edge. Burns the edge. That one safely in. It's a par here at 12. Right. He passed. He's going to stay too clear of the field. Two holes remaining. Wow. Marcus This is one of the more bogey. visually striking holes here at Harbour Town. The 373 yard par 4 so, 13. You've got trees flanking both the sides. Kind of given of which spring up right in here. the middle of the left bunker. Leading to an approach to a slightly elevated green with Allen's dies signature cypress planks all around. I think we just go with driver here. Look, wait, the risk is... I think it's worth it. Because we will have quite a short shot into the, the green. If we're way up, okay, we've got a decent wedge, but... Well, you can't walk out and drop it any better than that. No, that that's perfect, mate. That's perfect. That's right perfect. There. From well down the fairway, this a bit of a tricky distance for his second. Oof, look at that pin is. Ichi Yawa. Right, this is... How much is the wind going to affect this shot? That's the thing that I'm, I'm sort of... Hey, what options do we have? Yeah, the long flop's not going to reach. Uh... 
the finesse wedge could be maybe even just add a little bit with that wind so if I did what yeah I'm going to go with that maybe put air in the side, side of caution here spin no it spins a lot Oh, Jesus, that's right back to the, the, the planking. Holy baloney. Oh, it's we'll actually put us in the, the bunker. The ball run towards the flag. So it, it did stick up on that bank, but you could maybe assume that it was right in the edge of it. And it yeah, okay. Yeah, that's what, what it is. Okay, pretty big swing necessary there, and that's not all that bad from that far We're away. We're struggling to get uh, a bulky here. Well judged. You can get the part. So four parts in a row. And he'll remain right where he is. And we do... Still do we maintain... Yeah, two shot lead still. The 14th that point now at Harvard compadre is not making any bulkies either. 90 yards. Don't let the fact that this is the number 18 handicap hole fool you. The danger is self-evident on this hole as water runs all along the right side of the green. Yeah, again, another tricky hole on Harbour Town. Interesting uh, tee. We're kind of boxed in. Right, uh, wind's quite a bit behind actually. I feel we hit that. Oh, get down. That's going to be way too big. Yeah, okay. She's dry, which is the main thing. On the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. Again, like chip-wise. Uh, I kind of like the chip. I'm starting to kind of like, get used to it. Uh, we just really want to plop it, plop it on. Plop it on. It looks weird the, the way he's set up. We've got a seven iron. We could. Mm. Do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change. I don't know how this is going to affect the shot. That's the only thing I don't know. But how much more roll do we get off this? Or not much more, but less roll, I mean. Yeah, that's a pretty good... Yep, I like that. But I'm afraid... I'm afraid it's only a par. And a par here at 14. And this will remain a three-shot lead. Wow, we've got the a T-shot lead. On Harbor Town's back nine is this one, the so the rest of the field is falling away from us. Yards. Most of the problems here come on that second shot, hole? which requires you either to play a big right to left or to cut the angle, hit it over the trees, and hope yeah, you've got hole. it online. Yeah, power drive is already selected. Beast mode. Cutting over a little bit to the, the left. It should be fine. To be a wonderful Saturday of golf. <coughs> this big drive. Another fine tee shot. Yeah, look at that. That tree's right over us. Interesting. Okay. Um, I mean, we can easily reach this hole. It's the shot that <laughs> that we may have to pull here. Um, is this four iron going to be over that tree in time?
Right, we've got three shot lead. Now, the shot to play here is probably just lay up. Do we go for this? I mean, is, is this is this doable? I think we make that tree. Right, I, I, I'm, I'm going for it. No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Just need to settle down, relax on this next oh, shot. Oh, it's out of You absolute the nugget. Splits the after he I should have put bounds. height in it, to be honest. Astronomical. Now playing four after oh, going wow, on that, that previous was, shot. Yeah, okay. Uh, note to self, nope, you can't get over that tree. I'm actually going to put a bit of height in this. Yeah, that's a big tree. That that oh, I've actually overplayed this a little bit. That is a big tree. Oh, that failed miserably. There's actually a video on YouTube. It's a an American Apache helicopter. An Apache helicopters get like tandem seat, so it's get the the. I think the guy that, f that I think the gunner's in the front and the pilot's actually in the back seat. And they're coming up, I think they're at, at night, or it's got some kind of night vision goggle thing on. Or maybe it isn't night vision, maybe it's just a normal TV. But there's two trees, and the trees are apart, like, kind of, like, the, the, the extent of the, the, the blades of the helicopter. It's kind of ballpark in that kind of area. And the pilot says... Do you think we can make it between those trees? And the, the 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 front seat gunner says, I can't remember what he says, but he goes, nope. And the pilot to the back says, oh ye of little faith. And he step he starts flying towards the trees and he just clips it, and it he starts and it starts shaking and the helicopter crashes. So absolutely hilarious. <coughs> right, I think I'm going to play the... Hang on... Again, let's maybe go through what we... Options, yeah. I'm, I'm going to play the, the, the pitch. Take a little bit off it, let it run out here. It's my favourite shot. Slightly below the feet. Through the flag. But I didn't get through the flag, but the, the camera went through the flag. That's, that's good. Yep, happy with that. We give it a chance to get by the pin. Right. Yeah, okay. that's a good roll there to come Not away bad, I mean, we're at OB. At this par five. So, <coughs> we make the bogey. To a single oh, some golfer, I think he made, so what, a birthday, two bogeys there or whatever. Our golfer, so a 12 under par, we shot a 68, already, 3 under par for this round. To, to be PGA honest, the field tour. kept with us, what, 4 unders there. Uh, if you can win 3 times out here, you deserve uh, to be 4 on unders, 5 tour. unders, 3 unders, so, so it's, golf to go, it's kind of what, what we're shooting. And the golf that we've seen, this should happen. So that's a wrap. For all of us at EA Sports PGA Tour, thanks for coming along. We'll thanks see you next time along. on the road to the road. Masters. Road. So basically, we're going into the final round with a one-shot lead, and then we've got a little bit of breathing space between third and fifth and sixth. Tied sixth. Um, yeah, could it be? Could this be automatic qualification to the PGA Tour? Could be. Let's go. Let's do it. So, we are the leader. We are 12 under. So, we went through. Kind of holds the 13. So, we're pretty much even par. Uh, golf bag, we're happy with. I'm actually quite happy with this, this layout in this bag. I think for certain courses, it, it'll be good. EA Sports and the Corn Ferry Tour bring you the best young talent in the world of golf.
from Harbor Town Golf Links in South Carolina. Live final round coverage. Oh, Carolina. Invitational. What a week and weekend Ooh. this has been so far. Everything you want in a golf tournament. By nightfall, we will have our. So we've got six holes right, so to take play. A look at the current six. leaderboard on this no. Sunday afternoon. And we've got a packed group at the top with yeah, a tie holes. at 12 under. Included among them, and also our playing like golfer. up to the 18th. So, we've so drawn a plum assignment as we'll be following that pairing throughout. So out so to cool the action we go under. as we catch up with our golfer on the tee at the par 4 13. I don't really think we power drive this. The wind's in our face here. We just kind of get it in the fairway. But I think the driver is the right shot. Perfect. How that little drive no spot. There. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. So this is a great time to bring in Nota Begay the third. Nota, you've been there. You made it through the Corn Ferry Tour. You went to the PGA Tour, and you won four times. So here we are. Two wins already for this superb player on the Corn Ferry Tour. In contention now for that coveted third victory. Need to finish this off. So what do you think is running through their mind at this point? Well, it's just so easy to get distracted in this situation, Rich. You're thinking about playing on the PGA Tour, which is a lifelong dream for every single one of these players out there. And it's so easy to start thinking about how things can little. go wrong. And you really have to redirect your mindset onto the things that have been really working well for you up to this point. Go out there, execute, stick to your strategy, and stay aggressive. Commentary is right on point there. <clears throat> Somebody did say that they'd won, like, the first tournament they were still talking about winning the first tournament in, in the commentary but my commentary there was absolutely on point um that wasn't a bad shot to be honest kind of dialed in with the distance but again i'm going to try this little chip here just try and get it turned into the hole there maybe Possibility. I mean, we could Texas wedge it, but I just, I don't know. I just prefer the chip. The chip. Once you get the chip, it's actually not a bad shot. Yeah, just a little bit too much on it. Well, in terms of with that, Frank, not reading the the line. Do. It was so so good. A simple tap in for a, a par. Okay. Okay, safely in for par here at 13, and he'll remain. Uh, it'd be interesting if the second place maybe pushes it a little bit. Still tied. Onto the 14th now. This one almost a mirror image of number four. It's a par three at 192 yards. Beautiful four, looking hole actually. You know, you've got all those left. here. It's on the right. Bunker said it really should come into play with the trees. It's nice. The, the, the planking around the edge of the green is always a nice thing. I'm going to play this safe. The wind's coming off our back here. We don't want to be really playing with the water too much. I say playing safe, but obviously it's still a little bit long there. And that one not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Again, it could be a possible chip here, which I'm actually going to, again, I'm going to do. I think it's going to break much, actually. Come on! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Woo, come on! No problem. Yes. In from off the putting surface for an unlikely two. Oh, Mathis. Now to the Mathis long five that on hole. Backside, the longest hole on the Interesting, toe to toe. That's all I like to see. 15. This one is right. a tough Not just one cell. If you are behind those trees, sides, do not attempt well to go for the green. Second shot, requiring a pretty good right to you need to be over to the right-hand side, I think. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that should be perfect. That might give us a chance. Well, 
Might give us a chance of going for that, that green. Yeah, that's a nice swing. Maybe. The result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. I mean, to be perfectly honest, I think going for the green. It's tempting, and as much as really, it's. Um, I don't. Th I don't think. No. I don't think we can get over that tree. No, nah, I don't think it's worth it. I, I really don't. I think we just play. We just play the numbers here. We just try and get it in to a spot six iron. But we need the tournament. We don't need to be a don't need to be a hero. We still end up over two that. Solid I should put a draw. Why did I not put a draw? And two. I know the ball's in the rough, but it's not too bad. With a good short game, perhaps birdie. I'm going to start working on actually hitting a draw, like with the short stick, at some point, just to see how bad I am. Right, what did we put? I think we played a pitch here before and it actually worked out pretty decent, but. Hmm. The only thing I don't like about the pitch shot is we're going to be running it in like here. Which, you know, with, with the ball dynamics, it, it could. It could kill the bounce there and then drift into the bunker, which isn't really like a bad place to be, to be honest, but we want to be. I think the flop shot takes that out of the equation. The only thing is we do have a, a big dispersion zone here. Which is not good. And we are in the rough. Yeah, you see what I mean? It, you know, we had a big a big catchment area there. Maybe the pitch would have been a, a riskier shot, but it would have been a more dynamic shot. I think I'm going to keep with the 64 wedge chip. I know how it runs out, and I just think in this situation, it's actually going to be pretty good, I would imagine. It's above our feet, let's maybe just accommodate for that. Good, perfect. That was tracking pretty well too. That could have gone in for the same price. So we end up with a par, which I mean ain't too bad. That's a difficult par five actually. Okay, it's a, a good solid par five. Par here at the 15th, and he'll stay right where he is. Nope, still tied for the lead. 13. The that guy there is in the clubhouse at nine under. At the 434 yard par for 16. He it's holds to go. Left, like we haven't. I don't think we played this hole. No, we haven't played this one. Left side of the hole. Now that tree, yeah, that tree's. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, it's gonna. That draw is just going to hold it straight into that wind, so... No issues here. We should be able that to bend round the tree, I'd imagine. Second shot coming up. Let's check in for the first oh, time with no to begin the third. I think we're missing it. 117 to the hole, sitting in the front left hole location. Right, let's go for there. So let's maybe even... No, we don't want to club up. Let's maybe add a little bit to this club here into that wind a fairway a level Y which is good we should miss this tree I'm looking at the shadow and I don't see nah we should be fine well, okay that was close to a branch we do bleed it out to the right with that fast and safely on deck. That's the main thing. But from but that we're on distance, the green. really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five foot. This first knocker. putt's going to have to be good. Can hear the, the ocean. 
and I can actually hear the ocean. I'm standing, the ocean's to my right. And because I've got the 3D audio on, I can actually hear the ocean in, in my, my, my right ear. And I can hear the crowd in my left. And I can hear grasshoppers. Well, that's quite soon. And I could probably actually go to sleep with that. Ah, oh, sorry, I just dozed off there. Right, what we got here? Back to business. Uh, uh, <coughs> I think a bit there. Come on! Uh, yes, I'm a slope. It is in for a <coughs> that snooze actually did me some good. Into the lead with just two holes to play. Oh, one shot lead. Two holes remain as we come to the See, I'm, I'm enjoying this. As long as he doesn't, yards. maybe he pushes right like this hole, or maybe you know. In the distance, almost like what you see on the South Carolina state flag. And be sure to steer clear of the bunkers here, because making par from there, not yeah, a short in thing. face here. Um, I mean. Maybe just push us a little bit more. Now that ocean's actually in both ears now because I'm facing it. Which is pretty good. Oh, that looks good. That looks good. Come on. Oh, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down, get down. Oh, what a well, golf shot. What right. a shot. The previous hole, and now he has a much shorter look. Either oh, way, baby. Make another birdie. Baby, 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 baby. Right, it's breaking. I think it's just, it's got to be right edge. It's got to be. Just it was outside right edge. God damn it. Can finish it off. God damn it. Drama. No problems there. That's a par. Drama. At 17. <clears throat> and this will stay a two shot lead with one two shots. Oh, he's he's bogeyed. Oh, he's choking. What a finishing hole this is. At 472 yards, the par 4 18th. Most will try to aim just right of that Hilton Head Lighthouse in the distance. And that sets up an approach with trouble left and long to the large bailout area to the right. Here we go, boys and girls. The possibility of heading to the PGA Tour is within our grasp. It's a, it's a beautiful tee. That, that's a level marshland. That's this started a, toward the left side. You know, sometimes hills and mountains and valleys and crests yes, and all, all that jazz. But sometimes it's just a really flat wooden golf hole on the, the coast. It's really nice. About seal it. A left to right breeze. Something to consider here as he eyes this second shot. Here we go. Like, we could draw it in. I think I'm just going to let it bleed off the wind, to be honest. Uh, we do have an 8 iron. I think that's going to nestle down quite a bit. I think we just play this in. Full bueno. Is this going to be history? Oh, it's looking, it's looking not too bad. We've let it go in the wind a little bit too much. May have to rely on uh, the Dr. Trapinski here. Yeah, th th this chip has been working really well. I think I'm just going to pop this in. Ah, oh, I just missed it. We do run by a little bit, but I didn't deviate exactly much. <clears throat> so it's pretty straight, I think. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. No, this doesn't break. I think it's left edge. I think this one is left edge. Mm.
Yeah. Yeah, that's a good putt. It is in for his There we go, 14 under. Even and if he birdies. Oh, he does actually birdie the last hole. Credit, credit to uh, so this a Weird Al Marcus. That's it. Player, we are ahead of PJ Tour. Third career victory. And a good one. The starting come a little quicker. I think confidence is starting to grow. Yay! 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 Springboard from this position. So that's it for us. For Frank, Noda, Iona, and our entire crew. Rich Lerner saying, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on EA Sports. I'll see you in the PJ Tour, mate. I've got a couple of weeks off. So there we go. I, I really enjoyed that. <clears throat> that tournament was, was pretty good. You know, we kind of led. We're pretty much good the, the first round. I think we're one, one behind the leader. And then rounds two and three, we kind of like, got a, a lead. Going into the final round, obviously, we had the lead. But. Uh, Liam L. Mathis, I mean, he did birdie the last hole, which was good, but by that time with a two shot lead. Maybe, like, if we were just one shot behind and he'd, you know, tied it up, could have been interesting, but then it would have been a playoff. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with that. That was, that was <clears throat> that's the first victory I would say has been a little bit more exciting. So there we go. That will be the PGA Tour. Quest completed, Hilton Head. Um, so, okay. I thought you got... Oh, that's interesting. It... Oh. Is 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 la 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 la? Is is this a bug? Because um, interesting. Um, I'm kind of confused a little bit here because we. Because we've got early promotion. Now, I thought I'd have come up and said, you've won three events, blah, blah, blah. You know, here's... Oh. Is that a bug? Is that a bug? Um... I'm, uh, I'm a little bit, I mean, <clears throat> unless we just, unless we've got airway promotion, so I thought it would take you, or give, maybe, maybe it doesn't give you the option of just saying, right, okay, that's me qualified, I'll just skip the rest of the event, and obviously we've got pr promotion. Because we have got early promotion, we've got the, the three cups there, but it doesn't give you the option of just like skipping to the the PJ Tour, like like a a fast track pop up that says, okay, you've qualified. Do you want to finish playing, or do you want to just uh, like skip? Um. What I'll probably do is the next video. Um, Probably just gonna skip events. I'd, I'd imagine, and get to the end of the, because we've got five weeks left. We're, we're actually gonna have to withdraw because once you click that that box there, you kind of enter. It's almost like <clears throat> until you you click this box here, you're not actually entered into the event. You can skip it, but as you can see there we need to withdraw from from this event if that is the case. Um. I mean, we've got enough points. I mean, we've got 1,557 points, so we're, we're like miles ahead in terms of um, the uh, like standings. We're like miles ahead. I mean, we probably really didn't need to, to actually play any more events with the first one 
because if you look at that, I mean, there's guys there, 500 points. Um, and as you go down, you know, these guys are probably never going to get to the, the 500 mark. So we probably qualified anyway, but um, yeah, I, I, I think I think you maybe just skip to the end. Uh, okay, so I'm going to leave it here. Um, I'll probably actually go through the next video that I do. I'll probably go through this and just say, right, I'm just going to skip the rest of the season. I mean, we could play. Uh, what actual tournaments have we got? Just to kind of see. Banff Springs, the Canadian Championship, which is quite a good course. Bandon Dunes, which I actually haven't played. Again, another good course. TPC Boston, again, another good course. Quail Hall and Pebble Beach. Um, but yeah, I think we just... Uh, I don't know really what to do. We probably could just like, like not play the, the rest of the season because we've, we've we've done enough. You know, we've we've qualified for the PGA. Right, guys and girls, that's going to do it for this video. Uh, as I say, I thought they were doing a pop up, but obviously not. I don't know if that's maybe a bug, perhaps. Um, but anyway, take care, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.